Looking forward to the opportunity to serve people. And I have a creative idea and to bring the more feasible and, uh, you know, what is the creative way to bring the like solution. Welcome to PTG TV. This is your host, Antonio Hicks. Today, I am thrilled to introduce Michelle Kang, a dedicated and passionate candidate running for Georgia's State House District 99. With a strong commitment to community and public service, Michelle is focused on making meaningful changes that address the needs of her constituents. As a Democrat, she brings a fresh perspective and a wealth of experience to the table, aiming to create a more inclusive and prospective future for all. Join us or join me as I delve into her vision, priorities, and a driving force behind her campaign. This is the most fun time of <laughs> doing the campaign. My name is Michelle Kang. I'm stop by to hello and uh, introduce myself. I'm running for State House District 99, and this is my worker. I'm gonna leave it at your door. I care. I deeply care the community I live, and then I, I, I love people living in this this Georgia, and I want to bring something uh, different and uh, quality of life because you know there's uh, some uh, less fortunate and uh, underserved people mm -hmm. and i have were i was in their shoes and as an immigrant person uh, came to the states and then i had a hard time and then uh, struggling just my life in in here in america mm -hmm. and then i uh, have the same experience and then i want to bring those people's voices to the state uh, because we need to have more equity in, uh, inclusion in public policies and programs. I think the, uh, the canvassing is a great opportunity. I meet people mm -hmm. and then uh, having an uh, engagement and interaction. So I really appreciate the, that I, I have an opportunity to, to chance and opportunity and chance to speak and to people and hear from them. And that's because they, I'm, I'm serving them mm -hmm. when I uh, elected as a state representative. And because there's uh, many issues in the community for, for like, you know, restore reproductive freedoms. And then we're talking about the community safety and others, you know, healthcare expansion that everybody, it, it, those issues affect everybody's lives. So I wanna vote, I wanna vote for the bills that benefit everybody living in Georgia. So it's important to you to get out in front of the community and for uh, them to actually see the candidate themselves? Yes, and I just want to learn about my district and the people where they live. And then, you know, looking at the community and it's just uh, my love, love of my community getting deeper when I'm canvassing mm -hmm. uh, because it's just interaction was very, very, uh, just giving me the joy, you know, that I'm a person, I'm a person, you know, people's person. So this is the great, uh, you know, during the summer, me, people, it's, it's uh, a great uh, opportunity for me to, as a candidate. Uh, so the thinking about the people's living in here, okay, what I can do for the community, just giving me uh, those, uh, uh, you know, the time to think about the community that I can serve. And if elected or once elected, will you continue to come out and engage? Of course, that's my uh, commitment as well because uh, it's just public engagement, you know, working pe with people, you know, constant meeting uh, is the very important for me uh, because I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a one of a community member that I want to talk to the elected official, but sometimes it's just, there's a kind of disconnection and, and distance. I don't like it. I, I don't want to be the person uh, having a, like a distance with the people that I serve for. Now, what would you say to some, because this is a beautiful community that we're walking through. So when you're saying that you want to help out those that's underprivileged, what would you say to some, right. or so, do, would you have a 
disconnect being in this neighborhood that we're in right now? Right, so this this neighborhood, actually the Swanee is kind of one of the affluent community mm -hmm. in, in Gwinnett County. But also there's apartments, complexes, and then there's a lot of renters in this area. Mm -hmm. And then they are, uh, you know, struggling make two ends meet. And I don't really care about them. You know, they are struggling pay their rent and then versus putting their food on the table, right? So they, those are the people I'm caring about. That's why one of my priorities is lowering housing cost. So it's more inclusive than mm -hmm. the affordable housing because everybody cannot be a, you know, homeowner. So there's a people don't want to be a homeowner, you know, stay in the apartment complex, you know, that's more convenient for them to live in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just check it. Yeah. So, uh, of course, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I'm running for office for this district. Why is it important for you to learn right now? Because you've been active in the community for a long time now. So uh, why pick up and put your name in the hat? So 2024 is critical year for for Georgia because there's a, a lots of issues, community issues in, in state. Like a, for example, for a common sense gun safety law, we missing one one vote to pass the house or like a couple of bill, couple of votes for to pass the uh, you know healthcare ex expansion. Mm -hmm. So I want to build a, like a democratic majority and power to pass the bill to benefiting people living in Georgia who are stop the toxic bill. So I want to be in the power in state house, in the chamber, uh, you know, cast my vote for the people uh, living in Georgia. Okay. Now, why is it so important? Because you're immigrants yourself. Yes, I am. So why is it important for you to fight for immigrants and locals alike? Uh, so my district demographic is 33% Asian and then 14% uh, African American and 10% Hispanic. Mm -hmm. So altogether 33% Asian and 10% Hispanic. It's like 43, 40, almost 45%, 43%. So they are immigrant and then uh, because we need to respect them, their status mm -hmm. uh, came to came here to live in, but we are contributing to the uh, this community economically, culturally, and educationally. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, immigrant people is actually is working, and they are taxpayers. They are, you know, small business owner. They are actually serving the community. You think about, you know, for example, like who's mourning the, you know, the uh, take care of our yard and everything. Who, who, you know construct the new homes in, in our community. So mm -hmm. they are the people literally working for the community. So immigrant community is very, very important and that they bring their legacy and heritage to make our culture more abundant. So that's why immigrant community is important for our society as well. So once elected, what's the first thing that you're pushing for in the house? So, you know, I'm a mother with three daughters in their 20s. Mm -hmm. And then we have like a six weeks abortion ban in Georgia. That's the, that's the biggest concern I have. And then along with women living in my district in Georgia, that's the first thing we want to work on. So you want to work on women, women's rights? Correct. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm also the president of the Gwinnett County Young Democrats, and Michelle has been showing a lot of support to our organization over the last few months, especially with the Gwinnett Young Democrats. I had just restarted the organization back in September with just me and maybe two other additional people. But uh, looking at now, with even with Michelle's support, we've grown exponentially over the last couple months. Uh, we have a wonderful executive board. We have a wonderful vice president, communications director, treasurer, and secretary. With all their help, we were able to grow even um, support candidates and inviting them to our forums and panels over the last few months, uh, sh making sure that we show we are showing support to our Democratic candidates within our organization. And Michelle has been essential in that part as well. So why is it important to get more Democrats in House seats? 
especially here in Georgia, um, you can see like we have a majority of Republican. And I think it was this, this past year, we had a bill that we couldn't expand Medicaid. And unfortunately we ended up losing that by one vote. And with Michelle running in this district, uh, District 99, with her, as soon as we can flip this seat, we'll be able to support more Georgians here in the state of Georgia and getting more Medicare expansion here as well. And this is one of the vital districts that we have here in, in the state of Georgia, and it was very, very flippable. And we, I want to help support Michelle in flipping that seat as well. So it's advantageous to get more people into office as far as Democrats go to push policies and bills that support the people. Correct. Yep. So if you were elected, <laughs> what would be one of the main things that you would focus on? Because I think it would help to give insight for all other candidates running right now, mm -hmm. and it could potentially drive elected officials to let them know that their constituents mm -hmm. are looking for these things as well, too. Yeah, of course. So, like, if I were to be elected, uh, one of the things I would push would be for, like, um, what do you call it, public safety, especially in my, the district that I ran for in District 99, uh, sorry, 98. Um, because over the last few years, we had a lot of youth be uh, kidnapped and uh, murdered mm -hmm. in the last couple of months. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, but Susana Morales, she was one of the first ones that uh, was kidnapped, had disappeared. And um, a year later, they ended up finding her body down on 316. Um, so public safety is a huge concern uh, in my district, but overall in the, throughout the state of Georgia as well. So I want to push for more public safety, especially protections for our children, because with Susana Morales, oh, and then also uh, more culture uh, educational for our police officers as well. Because when Susana Morales' family had called the police to uh, report her missing, the police officers that took that case ended up just saying that, oh, she's running, she's only run away, she'll be back. Mm -hmm. A year later, they ended up finding her dead. So public safety is a huge concern for me. If I were to be elected, I'll be pushing very, very hard for public safety as well. Okay. And Michelle, like question for you, like how do you feel about the bill that passed that allows a police officer to stop and anybody might think of, might be an illegal immigrant? Uh, see. I think the local police officer has uh, their own responsibility, mm -hmm. not catching up like uh, undocumented people who are attacking the immigrant uh, community members. Mm -hmm. So they are more need to concentrate on the public safety than attacking the immigrant people. Okay. And if you could leave something for like your constituents, your potential constituents, what would you say to them to get them to get out and cast their vote for you? Sure. So uh, I think the candidate's background and experience is very important to understand what people's uh, struggles and then what they what they are uh, what future they want to uh, see. Uh, so I'm sharing the same experience and I have the same same concern. And because I'm in their shoes, you know, uh, just struggling, make two ends meet, and then uh, all just lowering housing costs and education, community safety, and uh, uh, healthcare expansion as well. It's just I'm sharing the same values and vision with everybody. So that's what I'm asking people vote for me because my platform and my priorities more more inclusive and in just equitable mm -hmm. just serving everybody not just slice of demographics living in my district so you're saying you're just not running for office just to run for office to get a title but you actually come from the people themselves and representing the people sure so because I've, I've been serving Gwinnett County for for years as a you know volunteers and then uh, I, I understand what's their struggles, you know, especially for Kine County, housing problem, you know, transportation problem that affects the small businesses, our lives, and the quality of lives. So I'm, I'm uh, dedicated to working for, for, you know, bring the very positive changes to the people's life here because there's a you know dynamic i understand there's a dynamic different perspective different view or insights of, about the development of the community but our purpose i i think we need to be more 
uh, you know, more caring about each other mm -hmm. than just thinking myself and my family. So thinking about the you know, whole picture, the community and the development and the growth, you know, you know, right in the right direction than the like, you know, regressive. So we want to make a progressive development in the district. So that's why I'm asking for people to vote for me because it's just my heart is just with people. It's, as you said, I'm not asking or uh, you know, pursuing any title, but I want to work literally. So that's, that's uh, I'm running for office. And then I'm looking forward to the opportunity to serve people. And I have a creative idea and to bring the more feasible and uh, you know w what is the creative way to bring the like solution to you know come up with uh, uh, some better idea uh, to for the housings and then transportation and then we need to support the people that like, go uh, working on this the small businesses as well then I used to be my, myself I'm a small business owner and uh, so it's just my experience is just sharing with everybody living in my district. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Kang. I'm a first generation Korean American immigrant to Georgia in 1992. So I proudly call Georgia home for the past 32 years. So I have a passion about the serving people. So I earned my master's degree from UGA. I, I major in public administration and learn about the public policies and programs to serve the people. And I have served the Guinea County in many ways. Uh, I was a, a Guinea Chamber board member and uh, Guinea County chairwoman citizen budget review committee member for three years and then for Gwinnett County, uh, Gwinnett County, uh, Gwinnett Place Mall uh, Redevelopment Plan committee member as well and transportation committee member. So I know how I can serve the people living in Gwinnett County to bring the battle betterment to the community. So I'm very, very excited running for running for office and I'm looking forward to serving you as your next state representative. I want to earn your vote and then don't forget your early voting started October 15th and then I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much and have a great summer. Thank you for tuning into this episode. It's important for me to get out and talk to some of the candidates, especially some of the candidates I stand behind. And the reason I had Michelle Kang on the show is because I knew, I've knew i known Michelle for a little bit over like three years now. And I've seen what she has done within the community and I see how hard she's worked, especially being an immigrant herself. So that's why it was important for me to get her on, especially coming into a house district that can be flippable because it's important for us to be engaged and involved within the community, which is one of the things I talk about when I'm talking about politics in general and I'm talking about policy and when I'm talking about elected officials and when we're all complaining online. So it's, it's one thing to complain online and not do anything. It's one, another thing to complain online and you're actively out doing something to try to make a benefit and make a change for the betterment of society and the betterment for your neighbors and just community as a whole. So you have to get out. You have to be involved. You have to volunteer. You have to find out about people's platforms so we can make sure that we have the right elected officials in place so that the things that we're passionate about and the things that we want to actually see come back home to us as far as when it comes to our bottom line in our households and when it comes to us being able to improve our health care and when it comes to being able to improve food, when it comes to being able to improve air quality, all of those things that you care about, no matter the differences of who, it's important to make sure that we have the right people in place that can push the right bills that can benefit us as a society. So that's why I wanted to have Michelle on. That's why I'm glad that she accepted the invite to come onto the show to talk about her platform and to actually talk about her running in Georgia's, con not con congressional district, but Georgia's House District 99. And, you know, that's why I always say, too, that, you know, no matter who it is, just listen to people and listen to their policy and look at the work they've done. Because it's one thing to have people just show up, but it's also to know that people have shown up because they've actually worked in the community and they see it's time to make a change itself. So thank y'all again for tuning in to this week's episode. Y'all actively be engaged. Y'all pay attention to policy. Go out and read congress.gov. And I know it's a political site, but you know, it's, it's still, it lets you know about what your elected officials are doing so you can do your checks and balances to make sure that those that you do elect are sponsoring bills that actually represent you as a constituent and what you want to see. So y'all be safe out there. It is summertime. It is hot as hell outside. So y'all stay hydrated. Until next time, love you all. Peace out.